All right. Here we have another regular volunteer. Um, just state your name. Uh, my name is Erin. What is your profession? I'm a teacher. All right. And how did you hear about Service Dog Project? Um, originally, so my daughter was in the sixth grade and her community service um, program from Diagonal Elementary School came and volunteered here as a service day. And so that's the first time we were here was several years ago. <laughs> wow, nice. So how long have you been volunteering here at Service Dog Project? I've consistently been volunteering here since July. So aside from coming up, you know, Nice. Over the years. nice. Well, thank you for volunteering. We definitely love having you here. Um, do you have any pets at home? Yes, I am actually a greyhound rescuer. We have a greyhound who's almost 12 right now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Do you have a favorite litter of the dogs that are here? Or previous I, litters? It, so I think it's really, really hard, but I think the Christmas litter is my favorite. Okay. Do you have a favorite dog out of that litter or all around? <laughs> Um, I think Wallace. I think Wallace is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Um, he's just from from the beginning. He's one of the first dogs that I ever consistently was around, and he's just always so happy, go lucky all of the time. Yeah, he's definitely a Wallace. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a great boy. Um, what do you feel from everything that you do is the toughest task or chore to do on the property? When Barkley Place or Ice House, so people call it different things, but when that means like a full scrub top to bottom, that's definitely the hardest. You have to do the walls and the whole. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so we have many wish lists. We have one on Chewy, Amazon, etc. cetera. Um, if you could add one thing to that wish list or a wish list, what would it be? Oh, I probably, I think bleach. You know, sometimes we just, we run out of bleach, we use Otogan, we use different things, but it seems like bleach would be an easy thing that people could donate or to come across when we really use it. Nice. Nice. Um, in 20 words or less, what is the one thing you would like to tell the world about Service Dog Project? That it's not a rescue. That you guys do some amazing work and it's not like a Great Dane rescue. It's something that really does impact the service dog community. Lovely, lovely. Um, now, I have a question that was not on my list. What is your favorite food, and what would you never eat? Uh, my favorite food is chocolate, <laughs> anything in the chocolate category, and something that I would never eat. Um, so I, I go to Japan quite a bit. I was engaged over there, and we go every other summer. And there's a food over there called natto that I do not like, would never eat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to describe it or? Oh, it's it, it's like you know the slime the kids make with <laughs> cornstarch. Uh -huh. That would be oh. as close as you can imagine. Oh. I don't know. It's a soy based. It's fairly right. good for you, but I will have to <laughs> dig deeper on that one after this. All right, and last but not least, share either a funny story or most embarrassing moment that has happened to you here at the farm. Oh, I, there's nothing really embarrassing. I mean, I come in the early morning and I do, you know, when it's pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. But um, I bring my daughter, the one that originally was in that sixth grade class that came. And so every time she can, she comes with me. And so trying to have both of us, since I come here more often, I have like the routine of doing it myself. And the number of times that I've, you know, like she's come in and I'm grooming over her foot and she's trying to get into because we try to go as fast as we can. And so there's like a calamity. It's kind of a, a Three Stooges act for the two of us. Are, <laughs> All right, so we, we're gonna have to video that then <laughs> so that the world can see this Three Stooges act. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that's all the questions that I have. I hope everybody has enjoyed meeting Erin. Thank you again for being a volunteer. There we go. Have a good one. Thank you.